Hello and welcome, and I'm delighted to have joining us now Professor Martin Rees, Astronomer Royal and a legend in the science community. Um, Martin, welcome. Well, it's very good to be on the show. Well, first of all, happy Asteroid Day. Um, and I'd just like to get your, your thoughts about why we study asteroids and why in particular asteroid defence is so important. Well, you could ask the dinosaurs that. They'd have an answer, wouldn't they? Um, but I think more seriously, uh, we know enough about dinosaurs and we know enough about uh, asteroids uh, that we know that there is a regular chance of impact of small or large asteroids. And we know enough now um, to be able to estimate how likely this is. And it's not a big risk. It doesn't keep me awake at night. Uh, but the good thing is that we can now predict the rate at which asteroids of different size hit us. And we can predict when individual asteroids might be getting near enough. And in the long run, we might be able to defend against them by actually deflecting or nudging the orbits of asteroids. So it's interesting to have a program uh, in which we try to uh, understand asteroids and predict those that are going to endanger us and do something about it. Um, and uh, if you were to think of an insurance premium, you normally multiply the uh, um, probability by the uh, consequences. And if you do that sum, then it's certainly worthwhile for the world to spend, I would say, a few hundred million dollars a year in order to uh, uh, cope with the potential risk of asteroids. Smaller it is compared to other things we worry about. So you mentioned that you're pretty optimistic that the chances are slim of us being hit by an asteroid. But um, why? Why does it matter then so much to still continue to invest in this defence? Are you optimistic that um, humanity will find a way should the worst happen? Um, well, well, of course, um, even if we can't detect the asteroid, then if we know one is coming, then we could um, evacuate the parts of the world that will be most vulnerable. So knowing one is going to come is good. And so that's why what's very important in the short run is to have a more intensive programme to uh, survey the sky for all the asteroids, which are more than, say, 50 metres across, and to uh, identify the ones whose orbits might bring them close to the Earth, to watch them very carefully. And if there's one which we think is going to hit the Earth, uh, then, of course, we watch it. We want to try and see if the technologies we're developing would be able to deflect it. And do you think, should the worst happen, that you have um, faith in humanity that would find a way to deflect um, an asteroid and defend ourselves from it? Well, it depends how big it is. If it's a really, really big one, or a comet or something, which we don't foresee many years in advance, then there's not much we can do except uh, um, try and avoid the part of the Earth where it's actually going to hit. Um, but if there is, say, an asteroid which is um, 100 metres across, which will be more than enough to destroy a city or a big area, uh, then obviously it would be good to know where it's likely to hit, to evacuate, and indeed to try and deflect it. And of course, there are uh, techniques that could, in principle, deflect the path a little bit so it, it would uh, miss the Earth. And of course, studying asteroids, um, we, we talk about the potential of, of one day being hit, but there's actually a bigger, more, more scientific, perhaps even existential reason for studying asteroids, and that is because the link to understanding, you know, piecing together this jigsaw puzzle of who we are and where we came from and what it is we're a part of. Well, that's right. I mean, quite apart from the fact that uh, uh, they are a potential danger, we have a practical reason for trying to understand them. Uh, if we want to understand our solar system, and the evolution of the cosmos, then they're part of the story, obviously, because they're left over uh, from the early days of the solar system. And we're observing all the planets. We can send probes to the other planets. We are now sending probes to asteroids. And so we're trying to understand the picture of how we formed. And this, of course, is a really uh, exciting area of astronomy now because of the realization that uh, our solar system isn't all that unique. Most of the stars in the sky are orbited by retinues of planets. There are lots of other Earths out there, and we want to understand uh, how we fit into this grander picture and how many other planetary systems there are which might also have life on them. So it's part of the exploratory quest to understand our place and our solar system place in the grander perspective of the galaxy. And what would you say, this is a, a slightly unfair question for me, but what would you say to people who just say, well, asteroids are just boring lumps of rock? Um, 
Well, if you could analyze them in detail, their chemistry is very important. So uh, if you're interested in how the solar system formed, then understanding what the asteroids are made of is important. And indeed, some people say they may have made of some valuable stuff, platinum and things like that, uh, which you'd be glad to be able to mine. So some people uh, say they're important for that reason. But I would say that obviously we want to try and avoid an impact by an asteroid. But even if we are just scientifically curious, we'd like to understand more about them. And, and for you, just, uh, you know, as an, an astronomer, you've inspired generations, including myself, uh, about the wonder of the universe mm. and what is out there. What for you is so, and it was a kind of unfair question of me because we know asteroids are important, but I just wanted to see your reaction. But what for you is, is so important about both studying asteroids uh, and why does it inspire you so much to study asteroids and planetary science? Um, well, of course, uh, uh, the planets are exciting. It's wonderful that we can send probes to them and maybe even send people to Mars by the end of the century. Um, but I think the point about asteroids is we can study them close up. Uh, we can have a probe that lands on them uh, because they're nearby. So we can actually learn about the origin of our solar system by regarding asteroids as fossils, telling us what it was like back then four or four and a half billion years ago. So they're important for us who are trying to understand how our solar system began and why it's here. Uh, and what does it mean to you on a personal level? Um, well, I mean, I suppose having been a professional astronomer uh, for most of my life, um, I'm uh, excited to learn more and I hope for some surprises when we study the asteroids more deeply. And if we were to um, look for the next uh, five, 10, maybe even 50 years, how do you think our relationship with understanding or under understanding of asteroids will evolve? over the coming decades? Well, I think within the next decade, uh, we will have mapped out the sky so we will know all about the asteroids, which are more than, say, 50 meters across. We'll be able to track their orbits and predict which ones are going to come dangerously close to the Earth. We'll do that. And I think within 50 years, we may have the techniques which will allow us to uh, uh, give a nudge to the orbits of at least those that aren't too big so that we can uh, uh, ensure that they don't actually hit the Earth. And if we can't do that, uh, we should be able, by monitoring the orbits very closely, to realise which area of the Earth they're going to hit, and uh, obviously evacuate that area if they are going to hit. So it's worth paying this insurance premium, even though the risk is small. And, and what do you got? Burn down, but you nonetheless pay your fire insurance. No, I, I think that's a fantastic. And I'm just wondering your thoughts on obviously um, the way we explore space is changing. We're entering this new commercial space era and people are looking at asteroids for resources. What are your opinions on that, particularly as we head forward into this new era of space exploration? Yes, uh, well, two things. I think that should be done by robots, not by people. I think uh, robots are getting better and more intelligent. So the case for sending people is getting weaker. And I think the idea of mining the asteroids is very sensible if the material is to be used to build something in space. I think we'll have robotic fabricators building huge structures, huge solar energy collectors, huge telescopes in space under zero G, and it'll be easier to get the material from the asteroid or maybe from the moon rather than having to get it up from the earth. So I can imagine that the um, asteroids will play a role in uh, construction of big artifacts in space. And I think that's going to happen. Um, although I think the worst is going to be done mainly by robots rather than by human astronauts. And, and do you think there's any um, challenges that we face in the future when it, when it comes to studying asteroids or perhaps even mining them as well? Um, well, I mean, I think obviously um, if we're mining them, we've got to make sure we don't break them up um, and uh, make them more dangerous. Um, and of course, uh, um, if we bring the material down to Earth, we've got to be careful. But I think the mining is more useful if the material is to be used up there rather than if it's to be brought down. There's some people who think that asteroids may be all made of platinum and they can disrupt the world's platinum market by bringing it down to the Earth. Uh, they could do that, but uh, uh, I don't think we should encourage uh, that sort of uh, um, investment. We should encourage trying to understand the asteroids um, and uh, seeing what they're made of, seeing what they can tell us about the early history of the Earth and also uh, perhaps uh, using their material um, as a way of uh, building big structures in space. And just finally, is there anything else you want to say to our audience about asteroids and the work that you do? Um, well, I think when I 
talk to general audiences and uh, friends, they're fascinated by uh, the solar system and what we learn about life in space, etc. And asteroids, in a sense, bring it close to home. Uh, you re realize that uh, uh, most of the uh, cosmos is so far away that we only get very indirect evidence from it. Um, but uh, uh, asteroids are links, as it were, between the terrestrial world um, and the world of the cosmos, because although they're uh, away from the Earth, they're sufficiently close that we can think of them almost as we think of the geology of the Earth. I think that's a fantastic way to sum it up, that asteroids are, are this, this link um, between us and the cosmos. And I, I am so grateful for your time today. Uh, Professor Martin Rees, um, you've been an inspiration to many. And thank you so much for your kind words and great words today. And happy Asteroid Day. Well, and happy Asteroid Day to you and to everyone who watches this.